So here's the whole thing about jealousy and comparing yourself to others. It's like two pronged. And when you ask me how to get over jealousy and comparing yourself to others, I want to make a note on this first. Sometimes envy slash jealousy is your soul or your inner self, whatever you want to call it, interpreting what you see that is out there in the world that you would want for yourself. I think if you look at human emotions like a gift, like when I'm feeling resentful or I'm feeling bitter about something, I realize it's because I, as a human being, have put myself in a position that I shouldn't be in. I've overworked myself. I've tried to prove myself to people that I shouldn't be proving myself to. And I need to pull back and I need to reserve my feminine energy. Okay? So that is bitterness, but we can talk about that at another point at another time. Because right now we're talking about jealousy. When you truly feel envious of somebody, and this is not to mean in a relationship when someone talks to your partner, to your man, I mean, this is, they've gone on a trip you've always wanted to go on. They've got that job you want. They've got something that you want. It is your soul saying, hey, this is your higher purpose. You, this is something that you need to be striving towards. And instead of sitting there and going, oh my God, I'm so envious. Why isn't it me? Why is it her and not me? What you need to do is reframe that for yourself and say to yourself, oh my God, crap, okay, I've got a clue into where I am going. Because the second biggest question I get is how do you figure out what you want to do? How do you figure out this? How do you figure out your passion? Forget passion, forget passion. Whatever it is you want to do can only be done by you doing something for a long time and getting good at it. You cannot just start doing and be good at it. It's very, very rare. You might be a prodigy, that might be a thing, but usually that's not how it works, baby. So there's your answer. That's the thing. You wanna travel because when you see those travel Instagrams, that's what you want. You want to do those things and that's your soul saying, hey, hello, I see that and I'm envious, so reframe that. Think of it as a positive thing. Negative emotion is there to drive you in the opposite direction or it is to show you where you wanna go now. Moving on to the jealousy of a partner side or the feeling of being less than, comparing yourself to somebody else and feeling like I'm not as pretty, I'm not as smart, I'm not as this and I'm not as that. And trust me, right now, by the way, I can't breathe because I'm seven months pregnant, so excuse me, I'm trying. But um, I have been every kind of, the reason I thought of that is because I've been every kind of shape and size. I've had no connection to my looks. I've had a lot of connection to my mind. Then I've had the opposite when I did pageants and I got really connected to how I look and completely didn't think about how what I think. Well, I've always been a deep introspective person, but you can lean into different aspects of your life. But the one thing that you need to understand if you're sitting there and you're comparing yourself to other women and you're jealous, and you're thinking, I'm not as good as her. I don't have legs like her. I'm not as witty as her. People don't give me the attention like they give her. He's gonna see her and he's gonna think she's better. You've got to understand the layer theory that I talked about on TikTok. And that is, nobody is you or can be you because you are essentially the layers that make you up like a cake. So you've got the layers of the cake itself, let's say chocolate, you've got the buttercream in the middle, you've got the icing, you've got the toppings, they're all gonna be different. So when you're feeling envious towards someone, that's not to say you wanna go in that direction like they went on a nice holiday, you want that too, but like you feel you're less than them, you feel like you can't win in the world because they are there and they're winning, you feel like your partner is gonna see them and want them more, You've got to remember two things. The second one I'll talk about in a minute, but this is what helped me. Number one, you are not replicated or replicable. There is not another you. As much as that sounds ridiculous because there are so many human beings, but the number and combination of ancestors that it took to make you is simply unrealistic. It's almost a bombastic idea that you are even in this world. So the combination of you, where you grew up, who you are, how you think, and this is where self-development comes in. 
you need to make yourself something interesting, something worthy. How do you express yourself? Is it through your mind, through books you read, how you wear your hair, how you dress? Even in the kindness that you give people, is it your ideas? Is it your traditional values? I don't know what it is, but there isn't another person exactly like you. You know that from people you've fallen for or fallen in love with in the past. You think, oh my God, there is no one like Josh. There is no one who has his family, comes from a place he does, but has that quirk and does that thing and is so cool like him. There is no one like that. And there is no one like you. So let's say you're sitting there and this girl is taller than you, thinner than you, cuter than you, funnier than you, whatever than you. You need to understand that she does not have the combination that is you. And for the fan of you, let that be your partner, or your life path, or the serendipity that's supposed to happen in your life, she does not have the combination. And you also have the power in the fact that you can always self-develop. You can always become more interesting. You can always become more flavored. You can always become more confident. And you know what? You know how much confidence trumps God-given looks? Charm and confidence? I've got other videos on this channel about charm and confidence. On my podcast, Being Her, go and find out how to be her. Being Her is the best version of you, by the way. That's the podcast, check it out. Go on to my masterclasses on my website. There's two of them, one about polarity, one about feminine energy. Use those. Guys, there is so much self-development to be done, and if you carry yourself with the true essence and true confidence, and you appear in the world, I'll tell you a secret, you can trump any good looking human being, any smart human being, because you've got the different layers that make you you. Maybe you've got the piercing blue eyes and that funny quirk and the way you talk about literature that you read. So to the right people and to the life path that you are on, you're irreplaceable. And that should give you confidence. And lastly, the second thing I mentioned about jealousy and comparison. Well, there's a third thing about jealousy, but we'll talk about that in a minute. The second thing that I mentioned about jealousy and comparison is that you do understand, and this lays in all of us, I believe, I believe that there is an aspect of this in all of us, that you get one lifetime as you. You came into this world, perhaps, I guess, spiritually choosing to be you and look like you. There is a reason you chose you. There's a reason you chose your family, I suppose. And if I was to truly say, okay, you don't like yourself, you're jealous of someone else, let's make you not you anymore and make you them. There's a rare few people that would say, yep, I'll swap. Because there's an intrinsic and deep knowing that you are meant to be you in this lifetime. There is a lesson that you are meant to learn as you. You are here for a reason as you, and you know that. And it's almost like watching a really good movie or a heartfelt movie or a sad movie or whatever movie your life is, when it ends, it is usually sad because that's it. That's, that, it's over. That life experience is over. Embrace it. You might be jealous of that person now, but that's not your life path. You were born as you with that face that your ancestors shared. Your ancestors had these features. They brought you into this world to experience this. And the third thing about jealousy, and now this comes down to a piece of advice I'm gonna tell you. If you're jealous of your partner, I understand the feeling exists, perhaps it's biological, you know, you don't wanna share your partner, you don't want them to, you know, uh, spread with other people, it's just biological animal instinct. Perhaps it's trauma from the past, perhaps you're anxiously attached, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. But I will tell you this as my friend, okay? I'm going to tell you this. It is unattractive. So don't let them see it. Unless, of course, they're a philandering piece of poo, then it doesn't matter what they see. And you can say, look, this is how you're treating me. But do not succumb to those thoughts that guide you to say, oh, were you doing that? Were you looking at her? What were you doing? Just leave it. If that's the type of person that they are, that they're always checking out women in front of you, you shouldn't be with them anyway. Right? And if they're not, please, I beg you, 
Don't put yourself in the demeaned position of always watching them, always asking them, always do. This is your opportunity to work on yourself. This is your opportunity to say, this person does not belong to me. They are not mine. No human being belongs to you. You cannot stop someone from leaving you or cheating. You can only be the best version of yourself. There is no controlling maneuver you can do to stop them from leaving you. In fact, they will see less value in you if you are chasing them and anxious that they're gonna go with somebody else. I told you earlier, and you weren't listening, confidence is the key because you need to start believing that even if that person leaves, that it's okay because they weren't meant for you anyway. So don't try and control the outcome. Let it be. I see a lot of you watch. I see a lot of you who subscribe and I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, if you want more content like this, I want you to subscribe. Thank you for just doing it. And I'll see you on the next one. Love you lots like jelly tots. Bye.